Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And today, if you guys, is another episode of Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga. We are back on the hub world of Pasana, playing as Finn and BB-8, and we are tackling uh, more of the Skywalker Saga. Let's play with Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. Now, the last one was a skip and a jump, very short level, uh, pretty cool, but you know, pretty short. Uh, this is going to be another short level. This one is called uh, "They Fly Now." And uh, before we get into the level, I just kind of want to give you guys a, a little, very quick explanation on. On why that's such a good line because uh, the consensus online is that the line is or uh, online the internet is that the line is garbage and that oh it doesn't make any sense and it's so cringy and stupid and uh, just like somehow Palpatine returned it's actually a great line if you use your brain cells with you know a lot of people online don't have those um, or at least don't like to tap into that that brain power um, but they fly now is a great line because one it's funny right C3PO says they fly now and he goes they fly now they fly now the delivery is funny it's just in my opinion it's a funny funny line but the reason why it works is because yeah first order stormtroopers have never effing flown before <laughs> Oh, you know, I mean, think about that. Now, people online like to say, oh, it's, it's bad because they, they, the Clone Wars, uh, you know, there were stormtroopers that flew before. Yes, but they weren't First Order stormtroopers. We have not, in, this, in the main sequel trilogy, and I'm assuming in the comics and all that, in the novels, we have not seen First Order stormtroopers flying before. And also, newsflash, none of the sequel trilogy characters were alive during the Clone Wars era to see those other flying people so yes it's funny and it also makes sense within the canon people that say it doesn't don't like to think i think it's a great line and hopefully i if you didn't like it hopefully i fixed it for you anyway let's go do this uh we are back on uh, episode nine all right they fly now let's let's see uh, how this one is this is a pretty short level two and uh, yeah now that the uh lessons out of the way i just had to get that off my chest because uh, it is a great line i truly truly believe that and it's a great scene in the movie, really fun, really awesome action scene. And uh, this is a pretty fun level, too. Not the longest level, but, you know, still pretty pretty cool. So let's see how... Let's, uh, the last one was about five minutes. Her name is Nambi Gima. Her name is Nambi Gima. You can't hide, Ray. It's for me. It's the mask, isn't it? What? It's the mask, isn't it? I'm going to find you, and I'm going to turn you to the dark side. We'll see. I'm taking this jewelry. My knights and I are going hunting for the scavenger. My knights and I are going hunting for the scavenger. General Pride. We have to go back to Oh, that flash. Leia sent me a transmission. Wookiees, stand down in the crowd. General Calrissian, we're looking for extra. You no good. Uh, what was it? Why, you no good swindler. He was carrying a clue that could lead to a wayfinder. Ochi of Bastoon. We followed his ship halfway across the galaxy. It was abandoned, out past Lurch Canyon. I've got a bad feeling about this. We've spotted the fugitive. Go. What's the purple bear? Can someone tell me in the comments what the hell is with that bear? It's in like every cutscene. Yo, that shot. Oh god, that shot's so cool. Yeah, um, uh, th there's actually a, sh a book called Shadow of the Sith, and it's canon, obviously. And it deals with Ochi of Bastoon, Luke, and Lando hunting this guy. I'm gonna read it soon and do a review after I read it. I'm for any sequel content, man. I get my little my little baby mitts on. I'm I'm happy. So nothing to this level. You just kind of shoot the jet troopers. That's, that was good. See, some of the voice acting is garbage. That was pretty different good, though. I like that one. Again, fantastic line. Now, who can I play as? I can play as Chewbacca. All right, let's play as Chewie. Oh! Yo, did I hit? It's sounds like I'm playing Call of Duty. Maybe the triple! All right, let me go. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Suck it, loser. We're going hunting for the girl. The scavenger. Uh-huh. <laughs> And time it right, time it right, time it right, time it right. Push! Gotcha, sucker. <laughs> Loser. Oh, crap, there's more. Uh, what does VBA do? Well, that's right. Yo, I dazed him. Let's go. <laughs> go, baby. Uh, baby, the triple. Uh oh. 
Okay, now down. we're playing as a. I'll, I'll get us out of this. That doesn't fill me with as much confidence as you think, sir. Well, I, I know some people are pissed off about the level length, but some of these levels are too freaking short. But I don't care, bro. This is fun. This is cool. Okay, all right, we got him. Play Finn. Where'd that guy go? There he is. All right, shoot him. Come on. Oh, I got him. I thought he got me for a minute, but we got him. Finn, use the hook. First order of business. Oh crap. OG shit. I've seen that shit before. Thinking field! Try to grab something! Will this agony ever end? Right, I never told you I right! They didn't do that, but it's fine, I did it for you. Where are the others? Let's find them. <laughs> that's that's genuinely one of the funny I think the Rise of Skywalker is probably the funniest Star Wars movie too. But uh, yeah, that's all we got, man. Nothing too crazy, but it's a fun level, you know. What I mean, it's it's a pretty fun thing. It's a great scene and a great movie for sure, and it's a pretty fun level in a great game. So let's see, they fly now complete. Uh, I got the true Jedi, obviously. I got all of that as well, and then I also unlocked the Bastoon Legacy, which is the name of Ochi's ship. Uh, and there you get the characters. All right, so yeah, there you go. Nothing too insane here, but. Uh, Still, two pretty short levels, but this one was uh, yeah, pretty fun. So, hope, hope you guys enjoyed. I cannot wait to do more. We only got, uh, what? What's the next one? Uh, C3P, oh no. Well, we got three more. So, this one's going to take us to the planet of um, uh, Kajimi, which is stupid because when you open up the Hub World map, Kajimi's there. You can go to Kajimi Space and fly around, but you can't land on the planet, which makes no friggin' sense. I know it blew up. But just let me play as it before it blew up. I don't know. I think they kind of ran out of time. I don't know. But uh, yeah, fun level, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you haven't seen my video on the character duplication, make sure to check that out. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of an older video when this goes live. But um, you know, maybe it'll help you out if you want to duplicate some characters there using that Mandalorian DLC pack. But we got three more, and then we are uh, sadly all done with this uh, this game. If you guys want, after I complete the levels, to just kind of free roam these hub worlds, just kind of talk about whatever, tell me down below in the comments, because, uh, you know, any any excuse and any chance I get to, uh, you know, play or, or even just talk about the game, um, I very much want to do. So tell me in the comments down below what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed. I can't wait to do more LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. And uh, next time we'll be going to Kajimi. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.